What's up, my family? Listen, first time listener, or you've been here the whole damn time. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, giddy up, let's go, enjoy the clip, no notes. If you were to rank him right now, would you say he's he's a, around like he makes it within the top 25? Agree or disagree, Jeff? What do you think? I'll say just just looking at the quarterbacks heading into 2021 and and as an Eagles fan, you have to you have hope that Jalen Hurts can be that guy to hopefully be your franchise quarterback and proves all the haters wrong at least heading into next offseason where, where uh, they can make a decision or not. Uh, but like, like you said, it, it was a small sample size last year. We only got to see him in four games. In those games, he, he, was, he wasn't he was very he, – he showed promise, and then there was a, a lot of times he showed, yeah, the, 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 he needs some developing. Uh, once again, he was 52% of the completions last year. Uh, in, in those four games, six touchdowns, the four interceptions, uh, plenty. He took a lot of sacks, a lot of bad, a uh, lot of bad throws, throwing to double coverage, throwing at a receiver's feet. So he definitely is a work in progress. I feel uh, the fact that they got uh, a weapon like Devontae Smith around him is definitely going to build his stock a little bit. I, I To the poll, I'm going to agree that he's a top 25, but that's probably about it. I'm going to disagree, but the thing is, I, I would put him around 30. Around 30, like give or take a few spots. Um, that's that's why I would disagree. But it's not that I I don't think – it's not that I don't think he can climb that a lot because he can. I think he can climb that ranking a lot, especially because this team could be – I'm not saying the Eagles are going to be – a a division contender, but offensively they have pieces. And if they stay healthy with that O line, the, the, if Nick Sirianni turns out to be a good coach, like we hope he is, and you know, like I said, everyone stays healthy. Dallas Goddard and Sanders have to break, like break out seasons. Every, everything falls into place, like we hope. And these young players develop. Devontae Smith is who we who we believe he is. I do believe he can produce and develop nicely in year two. So I think he can end up being like top 15-ish by the end of the year. Feeling is definitely higher than mine. Right now, we don't know a lot about her. I, I agree. And remember, I disagree to the poll. I have him outside the top 25. But to say that Mullins or the fair shot would be that hurts, I think that's a little – that's not being fair to Hurts. I think you're really underselling Hurts quite a bit. So I'm – that's that's not a good – I don't think that's a – I can agree with that. And I'm someone who is skeptical – skeptical, skeptical of Hurts. <laughs> but, man, the ceiling for Hurts is much higher than, than what it is for Mullins. Mullins is reaches. He is, he is what he is. Yeah. He's not getting any better – He's he's a backup. Hurts can get better. So I have ten A and ten B because I really couldn't, but I felt like they were better than Matt Ryan, and that's that Prescott and Ryan Tannehill as my ten A and ten B. Nine, I have Matt Stafford. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this I think this is the year. Uh, that this <laughs> this is the year he'll put people on notice that appreciate him. He's and, what like thirty something, and then like this is finally the year. Finally, this finally the year. I mean, he's with McVeigh. You seen what Jared yeah. Goff did with yeah, McVeigh? He's absolutely. definitely better than Jared Goff. So eight is eight is Kyler Murray. Uh, seven is I just I love this kid is uh, Justin Herbert, and six is Russell Russell Wilson. Wow, Russell Wilson six. Yeah. That's the one where I'm like, whoa, whoa. That's I mean, you just, you just talked about 30 some odd years old with, with Stafford. I mean, Russ he's is not slowing down. I don't know. He's not slowing down. No, I, I don't know about that. Well, you had to wait till you see the other five. First. I know what the other five are, but I was so, <laughs> there's only five so, left. Hey, what, what was it that made you have him this low? Like, <laughs> What's without I, getting too much into the other, without naming the other QBs yet. Like, why isn't he higher? Ceiling, like, ceiling and it, so much the situation and just Super Bowl winning potential and gameplay breaking potential. And I mean, Russ at some point is going to slow the fuck down. And the people I have ahead of him, I just feel as if who does what he does in a sense, 
have more of explosive potential. I will say this before we even go. Deshaun Watts is not in my top five. He's not in the top five because I, I can't put somebody in my top five that may not fucking play this year. That's wrong. Oh, so you excluded Deshaun. Ex- he's honorable mention. So he's not. Even if, so if you don't, that makes it worse. If you don't have Watts in there, then who is who's above Wilson? Who have five quarterbacks are above Wilson? That's what good. Just, you're out. You won't see you, you, better have, you better have Jalen Hurts in the in that top five. <laughs> oh no, Jalen Hurts, he didn't make it in the top 20, so he's like okay. like 22, 23. Okay. Let's all let's all let's answer this because I think most of us, or we should, I hope, but do we all have the same player at one? Mahomes. Pete. You don't have Mahomes at one. <laughs> yeah, he's at he's he's at he's at one. Time. I swear to <laughs> God, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> he's, he's at one. Okay, all right, good. All right, so we all have Mahomes at one. That's that we can just that's a given. Yeah. All right, so for me, Mahomes is one. He's he is my only tier one Q 